So I looked at my GitHub account recently and noticed that my domain name still just forwards to my YouTube channel, and I thought maybe it's time to finally change that. In this video, I'm going to build a basic Phoenix app with MySQL as a database and go through all the steps of deployment, including getting a digital ocean server, connecting that server to GitHub, and setting up Nginx as a reverse proxy. I'm also going to secure the server with Let's Encrypt CertBot. I broke down this series into six parts. I wanted to show everything from the very beginning all the way through deployment without skipping any details including actually getting a server on DigitalOcean. Separate videos for each part made sense because if you have a Phoenix app on GitHub already, you can skip parts one and two. And also having a video on DigitalOcean server setup or Nginx with Let's Encrypt could be useful on its own, even though it doesn't have anything to do with Elixir and Phoenix specifically. So with that, let's jump into the terminal and get started with the basic app setup. So assuming you have Elixir installed locally, to get started, update the package manager with mix local hex. Then install the latest version of Phoenix with mix archive install. Make sure the version you have is the latest. At this time, the most recent version is 1.4.6. Create a new app with mix phoenix new and then specify the database with dash dash database. If you don't specify it, the default is going to be Postgres. I'm not sure why this happens, but I have an issue with seemingly latest version of Phoenix still adding Mariah X MySQL driver, which Ecto refuses to work with, but for some reason the generator still adds it as a dependency and specifies it as an adapter. It's unlikely you'll have to make this modification, but here it is just in case. Update the dependency to MyXQL and change the adapter in the repo file and then run mix depths get again. With the proper adapter all set, create the database with mix ecto create and generate a video module with videos table to store the links to all the videos. The generator should have created the video module with a place for all the database related functions, as well as a migration file for the videos table with the name and URL fields as was specified in the generator command. Next, run mix ecto migrate to create the videos table and then start the server along with the console by running iax-s mix phoenix server and go to local host port 4000 to confirm that the app is actually running. What I want to do next is make a small change to the home page that is currently set to page controller index function. I will update the title and change the first paragraph, again mostly just to be sure that everything is working as expected. Going back to the browser, you should see that the front-end code changes were automatically applied. What I want to do on this page is to have a list with links to my videos. I'll just go to YouTube and grab the URL to the first video I made. Next, I want to make a function to create records in the videos table using attributes. I won't make an interface for it, instead I'll create records right from the console. After recompiling the app, I should have access to this function. I'll create a set of attributes for the videos table with a name and the URL I just grabbed a second ago. I'll then run create video record function with the attributes. It should return a tuple with OK and the record. I will double confirm that it succeeded by querying all records in the videos table, which will produce a list with one record. The goal is to get a list displayed on the home page, which means I have to find the page controller index function and add a query for all videos there. The videos variable could be passed to the template through the render function by adding a keyword videos with the videos variable. To actually render the links, I'll add an unordered list and use the for macro to iterate through the records and display them. Notice that the variable passed in through the controller has an ampersand in front of it. Going back to the browser, we can see that the link is rendered and seems to work. So now we have a Phoenix app with MySQL database and some basic functionality. I know this app is extremely basic and just demonstrates being able to connect to a database, but this series is meant more of a Phoenix focused DevOps tutorial rather than an Elixir tutorial. So this is the app that is going to be version controlled with Git on GitHub next.